Hello friends through this video we will learn about information of how to write research article or research paper. Research methodology part 1. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. Research. Research is a systematic approach to obtaining and confirming new and reliable knowledge. In simple words, research is a search for knowledge. Research is systematic and orderly, following a series of steps. The purpose of research is new knowledge, which must be reliable. Research is searching for explanation of events, phenomena, relationships, and causes. What, how and why things occur? Are there interactions? A process planned and managed to make the information generated credible. The process is creative. It is circular, always leads to more questions. Accidental discovery. Accidental discovery may occur in structured research process. Usually takes the form of a phenomenon not previously noticed. May lead to a structured research process to verify or understand the observation. Data collection. An intermediate step to gain reliable knowledge. Collecting reliable data is part of the research process. Research is not. Searching out published research results in libraries, or the internet. This is an important early step of research. The research process always includes synthesis and analysis. But, just reviewing of literature is not research. Objectives of research To gain familiarity with or to achieve new insights into a phenomenon, exploratory research. To portray accurately the characteristics of a particular individual, situation, or a group, descriptive research. To determine the frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something else, diagnostic research. To test a hypothesis of a causal relationship between variables, hypothesis testing research. Motivation in research. To face the challenge in solving the unsolved problems, i.e., concern over practical problems initiates research. To get intellectual joy of doing some creative work. To be of service to society. To get respectability. To complete research degree along with its consequential benefits. Process of research. Process of research. Formulating the research problem, aim, objectives, and scope. Performing literature review, critique, and gap analysis. Developing the hypothesis and methodology. Designing and simulating the methodology. Testing the methodology, experimentally. Generalization and interpretation of the tests using statistical tools. Presentation of methodology and its findings as report slash manuscript for review and publication. Classification of research. Descriptive vs. Analytical. Descriptive involves surveying for fact-finding. Analytical involves critical analysis based on information available. Applied vs. Fundamental. Applied involves finding solution to an existing problem. Fundamental involves formulation of a generalized theory. Quantitative vs. Qualitative. Quantitative involves measurement. Qualitative involves presentation of a phenomenon in terms of quality e.g. research in behavioral science. Conceptual vs. Empirical. Conceptual involves development of new idea based on some abstract idea. Empirical involves development of new idea based on experience. Research method vs. Research methodology. Research methods are the techniques used for conducting research. Methods for data collection and statistical analysis. Research methodology is the process of systematically solving the research problem. Methodology encompasses method, its creation, and the logic behind its use. Criterion for good research. Should have clearly defined purpose. 
methodology presented should be appropriate and carefully planned to yield results that are as objective as possible described in sufficient detail to allow for further advancement research should report with complete frankness flaws in methodology and estimate their effects upon the findings data should be sufficiently adequate to reveal its significance methods of statistical analysis used should be appropriate validity and reliability of the data should be checked carefully conclusions should be confined to those justified by the data and limited to those for which the data provide an adequate basis greater confidence in research is warranted if the entire process is ethical the researcher is a person of integrity with experience criterion for selection of research problem there must be difficulty or problem an environment slash application must exist to which the problem applies there must be some objective slash s to be attained alternative methodologies should be available for obtaining the objective slash s to be attained some doubt should remain in the mind of a researcher wrt the selection of alternatives preliminary study literature review must be done for selection of a problem overdone problems should be normally avoided too narrow or too vague problems should be avoided the problem selected for research should feasible ie related research material or sources of research are within reach the importance of the subject the skill sets of a researcher the costs involved the time factor are few other criteria that must also be considered in selecting a problem criterion for defining research problem stating the problem generically understanding the nature of the problem reviewing the literature developing the problem through discussion rephrasing the problem ethics in research conduct and communicate research honestly avoid fabrication and falsification avoid bias and disclose conflict of interest maintain objectivity maintain integrity keep promises adhere to agreement maintain sincerity avoid negligence carefree approach examine carefully and critically maintain appropriate records maintain openness share findings of research be open to critique honor intellectual property cite refer the intellectual property appropriately avoid plagiarism protect confidentiality protect confidential research and its communications publish responsibly publish qualitative research avoid duplication faking help and promote mentoring educate advice and mentor respect colleagues do not discriminate and treat fairly prevent social harm through research plagiarism and copyright plagiarism is the act of stealing someone else's work and attempting to pass it off as your own copyright is protection provided by laws to the author s of original works of authorship this protection is available to both published and unpublished works types of plagiarism the most common type of plagiarism is the simplest copying if you copy someone else's work and put your name on it you have plagiarized if a writer copies word for word the text and does not acknowledge the writer has committed plagiarism the second kind of plagiarism which is similar to copying is patchwork plagiarism this occurs when the plagiarizer inserts the phrases and clauses from the original without putting the phrases in quotation marks and citing the author the third type of plagiarism is called paraphrasing plagiarism this occurs when the plagiarizer paraphrases or summarizes another's work without citing the source even changing the words a little or using synonyms but retaining the author's essential thoughts sentence structure and slash or style without citing the source is still considered plagiarism the fourth type of plagiarism is called unintentional plagiarism 
It occurs when the writer incorrectly quotes and slash or incorrectly cites a source they are using. Preventing plagiarism. Best way, be honest. Avoid cut and paste. Reference appropriately. Give credit where it's due. Appropriate citation in the work. Publication of research work. Researchers try to get their research work published as a final step in the research process. Aim is to publish at quality platforms, journals and conferences, domain of which connects with the broader research subject of national and international repute, to ensure the most appropriate readership and potential for contribution to professional practice. Peer review journals are considered the best for publication because the contents are scrutinized by peers for quality. Process of publication Submission of manuscript Blind review of manuscript by up to three peers slash experts in the field. Each reviewer writes a report referring to the article's relevancy, the rigor of the research and its potential contribution to the profession. The reviewers independently make recommendations as to whether manuscript should be published or requires modification or should be rejected, outright. An editorial board then accepts, asks for modifications or rejects the manuscript based on the reviewers' reports. Authors may decide to adjust their manuscript based on the reviewers' reports and then resubmit to the same or a different journal for further consideration for publishing. All progress is born of inquiry. Doubt is often better than overconfidence, for it leads to inquiry, and inquiry leads to invention. Hudson Maxim Thank you for watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel.